Welcome to London, England. It's so great to be home. When I left England quite a few years ago, the British culinary scene wasn't up to much. However, things have changed drastically. I'm going to be meeting two great brothers who have helped make all those changes possible, the Galvin brothers. Today we're going to get a taste of what the Galvins are doing in one of their London restaurants. First is a lasagna made with Cornish crab. Second, a poached chicken breast served with fava beans and a ray of seasonal vegetables. For dessert, we get Chris's ambrosial caramelized peaches served with an equally divine lavender ice cream. So join me, Ashley James, for another exciting journey on cuisine culture. I'm Chef Ashley James. When I'm not catering to the demands of stars in LA, I'm touring the world cooking with culinary geniuses. Take your gourmet passport and learn how to cook like a master chef and eat like a celebrity. Welcome to London, England. It's so great to be in my home country after quite a few years. It's no longer just potatoes here, just a little bit of everything. Today, London has the reputation of being the world's finest gastronomic capital. What a pleasure to be meeting the famous Galvin brothers, the most French of British chefs. The Galvin brothers started their career quite a few years ago, working in some of the city's finest restaurants with some of the country's best chefs. I'm here with Jeff from the Galvin Brothers Bistro Deluxe and we're here at New Covent Garden Market which is south of the Thames here in London. So let's have a look around and see what produce they've got. Yeah, well, this, this time we have some lovely uh, white peaches which okay. we'll be uh, French? cooking with later. Spain, yeah, yeah, down from Provence. Oh, from Provence, um, yeah. What I like about these guys is they, they have their fruit. If you feel that, it's, it's, it's really ready to eat. It's nice and ripe. Hey, let's look at this. I think it'll be the quince, no? Yeah. Wow. It's quite I, early, so the first of the yeah. quince. I just first saw yeah. these last week. Okay. Uh, these are fantastic Beautiful as well. The radish. radishes. Yeah. And, yeah. We're lucky to have this now. It's, uh, yeah. It makes our job quite easy. Definitely makes our job very easy. Yeah. And we need to get cooking, no? Yeah, we'll yeah. be uh, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll be on the thing. Uh, the, 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 the guys will be in already. Good. In a way. So yeah, Great. we should join them. We so should, we should. On Eva. On Eva. For the first course, seafood lasagna. At the heart of the dish, fresh Cornish crab poached in a cold bouillon, then combined with scallops and cream into a delicious mousse. For the sauce, some onions and geol mushrooms, related to Chantal, are blended with fish stock and milk. And for the garnish, some additional mushrooms and a sprig of parsley. What are we going to start with, Jeff? Well, we're going to make uh, uh, a bit of our signature dish, which is a lasagna or Cornish crab. Uh, so we're just going to uh, we're going to cook these. Okay. So a little cor bouillon. Bouillon, just behind us there. Okay. Uh, so in the cor bouillon, what do we have? We have some yeah, water. Just, yeah, just basically uh, some water, onions. some vegetables, some herbs, uh, a little white wine, some black peppercorns, um, and a little bit of white wine vinegar. Okay. And, uh, it's quite a classic. Uh, Cor bouillon. Yeah. We, so shall we put the crab in? Yeah. Let me that. help you with that. Yeah, sure. Oh my God! Just look at these crabs. Just, yeah. If you they just kind of pick them up from the back, and then you, yeah. you won't lose any fingers. So always from the back. Yeah. yeah. So there we have our beautiful um, Cornish crab, and we're going to cook that for approximately 11 minutes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. We need some proper time. Make, yeah. Okay. We'll yeah. make sure that it's well submerged under the cor bouillon. That's it. It's as chefs, we've got these iron fingers. We can put our hands. You see that in the boiling water. Many years. You, sp you speak for yourself. No. Right. <laughs> right. So he's cooled in that in that cooking liquor. He's fairly cool now. Great. Uh, mainstay of the of the meat is actually just in this claw. Uh, it's pretty simple, really. We don't want to make too much mess. We don't want to smash this to smithereens because we'll end up with lots of pieces of small shell. And sh that's not good. No, that's right. No, it'll take us a long time to hunt through and find them. We don't so want crunchy bits no, in your lasagna, no, do we? No, absolutely not. So just a... 
just like that. And then when it's to that stage, we can actually just pull it open. That is beautiful. I mean, look at that sweet crab yeah. meat. Yeah, we can see that. It's it completely... peels away from the... Yeah, from that's the... it. We just pull the pincer out like that. And it's done. And then we can take this meat here, like that. We'll just have a piece of cartilage that's kind of running down the center. We need to get that out. But we want to leave it as whole as we can and just flake it away from the piece of cartilage that, that's in the middle there. Beautiful. That's it, so you can see, just from one claw, you get a real a real good amount of meat from that. Great. So you do actually have a really good yield on them. So we're gonna mix that <coughs> with the that's mousse. right, just with our mousse. Uh, and then we're ready to make the lasagna. Great, good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's our scallops. We've just removed those from the shell. Okay. But you can see the always shine. looking for a lovely shine on, that the, is, on the scallops That is there. fresh enough. Uh, but yeah, so they, they would have been alive. We'll make a little mousse from those. And then we'll just layer that up, the layers of pasta. With your fresh Absolutely. pasta that you made. That's okay. it. And then we're just going to make a, a sauce, a uh, velouté sauce from these which rolls, which mushrooms. we'll make first. That's those. And uh, great. really great at the moment, right, in season for those. Yeah. It's actually now quite simple. We have some little discs of pasta that we've we've cooked. Okay. And we just basically layer this up. So we're going to put a, a disc of pasta into the bottom of this little mold, and then the mousse. But the mousse. So the mousse basically it's um, scallops, cream, salt, cayenne pepper, and the crab. And the crab. Yeah. yeah. And really, the mousse is just a carriage for the crab. To There's bind a, it together. Yeah, a high percentage of, of crab to mousse there. So good. Um, so yeah. That's good. So about a centimetre? Yeah, about a third, yeah. About a centimetre? So we do actually do this with two people normally. Yeah. We obviously make trays of kind of 40, 50 portions. So you so, need two people? Yeah, so one piping, one pasta is a lot. It's really a lot quicker. There That's we go. It. And then we just finish wow. that off with a, a little sheet on the top there. Yeah. So what are we going to do with that now? With this now, we just need to uh, steam this for 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, and then it's ready to serve. And uh, okay. I think we should just really head into the sauce. So, so for the sauce, what do we need? Uh, well, we've got our uh, Giro that we looked at earlier. Okay. Uh, we're just going to cook those down in a little bit of butter. Right. Just in there. That's okay, it. so we've got the so, butter yeah, here. We've got the butter in this pan here. We're going to put... Um, some onion in there. Okay. We're just going to move that across and just and we, to get that this, sweating down. We're going to sweat this off. Without okay. those in now. There's your old mushrooms. There's your rolls. We'll just get those as uh, start. I think that's stopped. That no looks problem. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. We got that. Yeah, so so we'll, put, we'll put the stuff. All of that stock can go in okay. now. Okay. So how much milk should I put in? It's actually all, 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 of, all of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. That all goes in. And that's it. We can blend that. We can actually blend that up now. Straight into this jug. It's very important that this isn't too long a process. It's all kind of happened within, you know, five, six minutes from so start to finish. Basically maintaining all those fresh flavors. Definitely. So let's get that on now. Okay. So make a bit of a... We'll put a cloth. I see you and your butt. That's a chef thing. Te teamwork, <laughs> teamwork, as we all know. But we always do this, yeah. just, kind of just in case. If you just, uh, okay, just flip yeah. that one up and then we'll, we'll turn it. That's it, we'll do that. Smell that. Yeah. That's beautiful. So we just strain that into another Yeah, pan. so I'll just get that. That's it, and we'll pass this now. That's it, great. Oh my God. Just look how good that looks. For the garnish, actually, we're going to actually just sauté a few of the girolles. I love it. It's beautiful. Look at the consistency of yeah, that sauce. Yeah, nice. right. So we're going to sauté some girolles. Yeah. A little bit of butter. Good. Uh, which, I, which I quite like. Well, Jeff, I think we've got everything ready now. Yeah, don't? I think we're ready to go there, Ash. We'll, uh, Great. We can plate up now. So we've okay. got our, our crab there has been... Uh, just steam that's just come from the steam. That was now. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Nice there. and warm. Wow. Well, nice and light as well. Sauces there. Okay, so. It's actually quite a simple process. It's, it's a good dish for us because actually, in the service time, it's actually fairly simple to, uh, to plate up. You just basically run a knife just around Just to the loosen outside. it up a little bit. Loosen the sides, yeah. Okay. And, uh, we'll Look at that.
Beautiful. So that is the starter, as we say, the starter or yeah. appetizer, you know. <laughs> And now for the main course, a boneless chicken breast poached in water and wine that's been flavoured with vegetables, herbs and a little vinegar. The chicken is served with a melange of baby vegetables, carrots, leeks, peas, beans and some more of those amazing mushrooms. And it's all topped with a creamy rosemary butter sauce. I'm really excited about this, um, the entree, the main course that we're going to yeah, cook. It's good. And it's a long day's chicken with summer vegetables. We're at the end of summer here in, in London. Absolutely, we're just hanging on to it. <laughs> As we always hang on to it. And the sauce is going to be a rosemary butter sauce. So, Jeff, what do we need for this uh, beautiful recipe? Well, we pick recipe? up these vegetables. We, we like to use the vegetables when they're quite young. So, we've got some lovely baby carrots right. um, here, uh, which are organic. Some lovely peas, which if you taste those, that's a beautifully sweet. Uh, some little button onions okay. uh, that we're going to cook. Again, some lovely young leeks. Beautiful. And um, they're lovely and tender. Uh, some broad beans. Broad beans. Um, or fava beans. Broad beans, as we say in England. Absolutely. Fava beans. And uh, some cocoa beans, uh, which are beautiful. Beautifully fresh, very tender inside. Right. And what's missing? Uh, just our chicken, actually, with Sean. Yeah. If you've got our chicken now. We'll just get Sean to just dissect this. Sean, how are chicken. you? Good, great, thanks. Good. I think it's 12 years since Sean first began working with Chris initially. That's right after that, and then when we opened here, she came over. So they, they must be good brothers, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 12 years. I figure she's not fed up by now. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> good. And what, what do we have in here then? Uh, in here we have some water, uh, some leeks, some celery, some onion, uh, some herbs, a little black peppercorn. Uh, a little star anise and some white wine, some white wine vinegar and some salt. That's okay, Shan, so you're going to put the, the chicken in to cook. That's it. So we're going to leave that to poach there uh, for about, about 12, minutes. 12 minutes. So what is the next thing we have? So to really, do? if we, uh, yeah, we need to go on to the, to the sauce, uh, to our rosemary butter. Okay. Uh, and, and just sweat it down in a little butter. And I think it's a, it's a chef thing, finely chopped shallot. Sweat you that down, no colour again. And, uh, and what we're going to do, uh, we're going to add some wine to this, some dry white wine. Okay. We'll just pour that in. Great. And we're going to let that reduce till half the wine goes? Yeah, just past half. The broad beans, they've actually been blanched. They've been blanched in um, boiling salted water. And then we've peeled them, haven't we? That's right, yeah. So there we have our. Our broad beans, fava beans, That's cocoa it. beans. Cocoa beans have just been cooked in a little stock until they're tender. Jeff, this wine is pretty much reduced, so we can probably yeah, uh, right, add right, the chicken well, stock. Yeah, yeah, well done. That's great. Okay. Pop that in. And that just really gives the body. That's good, no? To the sauce. How's yeah. that? No, it's that okay. Is, that looks fine. So the carrots in. These beautiful baby carrots. Wow. I love this one pot. So you're yeah, concentrating. We, yeah, you're concentrating good. flavors and, and actually it makes it easier for you know for the chef also. There's only one thing to look out for. That's right. As long as those flavours in there are not conflicting, then, then it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so that looks good. Go. Beautiful. And the fa the fava beans are the very last bit. The last, yeah, they're really they have been blanched. That's it, they're just really reheating. Oh, it's delicious it's cream, good. two tablespoons. And are we going to put the rosemary in now, or...? Uh, we tend to wait, we just let that boil, yeah. just for about a minute. And this is from your, from your garden, you're saying, yeah? Yeah, there's... Uh, are sprigs good, yeah? Or you're uh, maybe, maybe two. Two, two sprigs? Yeah. How's that? That's fine, that's great. Great. Literally now would be good to put this butter in. Okay. We just need to, just really, just put it in there and just add the whisk. Don't be too... Don't need to be too frightened of, uh, of adding it. And I'm just going to add the last of our peas just into that pot there, along with our fava beans. So once we've added the butter, it's very important not to let the sauce boil, okay? Because what we're doing here, we're actually emulsifying the liquid with the butter. So if we let it boil, the butter is going to split. Absolutely And we right. don't, we don't want a greasy looking sauce. Right. Okay, so the vegetables. The very last thing. A few Again, Some little giro and a 
know we had Giro on our last course, but I just think for the, I don't know, six weeks we have them. I've, you want to use them? We use them. That smells really delicious. Just a tiny squeeze of lemon. That's I think that nice bit of freshness at the end. That's it. Cleans it up. And you know, even, makes it even fresh. for things like this, you know, the, the, the lemons we saw this morning, I think it's important to use a good lemon for seasoning as much yeah. as it is for those, those beautiful you know, making, Sicilian lemons we saw. That's it, absolutely. At the market. So our sauce is good, we've just got to strain that off now because we want the rosemary out and we want the shallots out now. Beautiful. So we're just now going to strain those off. Beautiful. I think I went a bit heavy with the carrots, didn't I? Yeah, we've probably got enough yeah, for yeah. about four portions here, but hey. All right. Okay, so I'll bring the vegetables okay. over. Yeah. We have the vegetables there ready. The chicken, the sauce. So really with this chicken, we don't we just carve it a little bit more. Actually for presentation. Um, yeah. We just really just cut into this. And it's just very important that when you look at your chicken there. I mean, you can tell just now. Yeah, just, just like there and you can see it's, it's just set. Beautiful. It's, it hasn't been taken kind of too far. You just pop that into the bowl there. Lovely. Okay, and we dress up and really just taking the vegetables. Taking our vegetables. You just kind of arrange those nicely. Okay. Just, just through there. Out the top. And then we normally just pull out the little mushrooms there, just kind of a that looks delicious. The garnish on the top. And we just lay those. Again, more for decoration, we lay the little mushrooms. Beautiful. Just across the top. And then we use, uh, just to, to really finish it off, we use a little bit of salt, which is down from the from the Camargue, in the, oh, again, okay. in the south. From France. the south of France. Yeah, Camargue. it's beautiful. And we just finished it. Camargue, very famous for its horses as well. Absolutely, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I can't wait to try this. And then. Yeah. Um, and then maybe we should get cracking with the dessert. Let's go. Don't call your brother now. Yeah, let's do you it. Should come and give us a, a hand, yeah? Absolutely. Okay, great. For dessert, Jeff Calvin passes the reins to his brother, Chris. And it's time for those peaches from Garden Garden Market. Chef Chris lets those peaches speak for themselves. They're simply peeled and sliced, then dusted with some powdered sugar, which is caramelized with a blowtorch. The peaches are served with house-made lavender ice cream and drizzled with caramel enriched with lavender honey. We begin with the ice cream. We need to whisk the egg yolks and uh, sugar together. Okay, so the egg yolks are there. And what I need you to do there is just whisk these together first of all. To, to blanch it, yeah? That's it, just to bring it up wide. So you start to do a whisk away there. What I'm needing you to do that, I just get some milk hot here now, and I'm going to infuse some lavender. Wow, that's good. So we just start to toast this just a tiny bit to get the oils working. Okay. If you go back to the front, you can always add. Exactly, yeah. but you can't take away. Good. So we just need to bring this milk up now to the boil. And what we do now, you know, our peaches we're going to work with today, we've seen a lot of sun. Oh. We've seen a lot of sun. The really? sugar's uh, going to full impact. And we don't need to do anything to these. We're not going to poach them. Yeah. We're just going to let the fresh flavour of the peach sing out for itself. We really look, what we're looking to do is just blister the skin. Okay. As you can and you'll see, see there. It come up very, very quickly. Okay, and all we're going to do now is just with the back of the knife, we're just going to just just peel just, it down just yeah. peel it off. We're leaving all that flavour inside the peach, and that's what we're going to get to taste. And actually, it's it's very quick. Yeah. Okay, our milk's just coming to the boil here now, and a good idea at this point is to taste the milk to see how the intensity of the lavender is. Yeah. That's it. So I'm going to leave you to peel the the peach there. Just taste this now. Yeah, that's there. Good. What we're going to do now, we're going to put this uh, through uh, in here. A few whisks. Okay. Remove that sugar there. So the egg yolks and the sugar are nicely blanched. Okay. That's it. I'm going to just pour this slowly on while it cooks the yolks. Beautiful. So what could be easier? Egg yolks, sugar, milk. 
lavender. What we're going to do actually, we're going to return it to a clean pan. Often the milk burns a little bit, catches a bit, just caramelizes on the bottom of the pan. What we don't want is when we're making this, is any uh, bit of flavours coming okay. into our, our, our anglaise. Great. So we're just... Okay, so we can see it's starting to thicken up now. It's exactly where we want to be. And I know we come from a similar background. We do. The test was... Uh, Rub your finger against the spoon. Put your finger and we can see when you pull a finger through, you should leave a clean line. There the we go. two sides, they hold. We're going to strain it now through a shimmer. Okay. Just to take the lavender out and any small uh, pieces of egg that are cooked and yeah. just make it super smooth. Beautiful. And just we're going to churn it on ice till it thickens and then we have the um, lavender ice cream. So we're back to our, to, to our peach now. So what we're going to do is we need to cut this in half, okay. twist and we need to remove the kernel. So cut it in half like so. There we go. Is that good? And then we twist. Give it a twist. There we go. Oh, you still wow. got it. You've still, still got it. Thank you. Yeah. And we just need to uh, cut this into uh, six okay. or eight, depending on the size of, of that peach. If they're slightly smaller segments, they're going to fit into our glass a bit better. Icing sugar, powdered sugar. For some people, as we know it by, or icing sugar, as we know it by now. Yeah. Is that good? Maybe a bit more now. So, we we'll just give you the chef's okay. favorite tool. Thank just give you it so a little much. color. How's that? A little bit more sugar. That's beautiful. That's getting nice there with that extra sugar. So take this over. We're going to finish it with a little uh, caramel. And all I've done is just boil a little water with some sugar until we've got this beautiful golden colour. A little bit of lavender honey in now. Okay. Just to intensify the flavour of the dish. And that's going to be just dribbled over the top. How's that? Is Actually, it... you can't, it doesn't matter how okay. posh we are. Yeah. Good, I like You're it. You're friends, Alex. Good, honest, good, honest. There we go. Rustic food. One more. That's good. I can eat a whole peach. Yeah. Fantastic. Beautiful. And then I just want you to put a nice roche of uh, ice cream, ice cream in there. Great. J just the one? Yeah. Straight in the middle. Oh my goodness. Go. Look at that. We'll finish with a little uh, pinch of lavender. Like so, yeah. A little bit of caramel. Beautiful. And then we have poached white peach, lavender ice cream, and caramel. That's great. Well, Fantastic. thank you so much for coming and Pleasure. showing me the dessert. I think I think we should go for a glass of wine with your brother, no? Just yeah. try it. I think he's got it ready for us now. Okay, well, let, let's go. Brilliant. Long day in the kitchen, we need a glass of wine. <laughs> okay, thanks. Here I am sat with the two amazing brothers, the Galvin brothers, here at the Bistro Deluxe in London. And We've had such a great day. Well, I have anyhow. It's been fun. I hope you've had a good fun. day too. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. I mean, we started our day off in New Covent Garden. Then we came to the kitchen and cooked all of these amazing dishes. Well, actually, you guys cooked, I just helped. Oh, you're a bit of a help. I helped. Great right. help. <laughs> and ate things. It was a pleasure. Yeah, yeah so. it's really good fun. I just want to say thank you so much one more time. Uh, you know, for me to be here in my home country, England, and with two amazing chefs. Oh, it's been our pleasure. Um, two passionate brothers. <laughs> so I want to say chin chin, cheers. Chin chin, chin. And I look forward to seeing you soon for another exciting adventure of uh, cuisine culture somewhere in the world. And cheers again. tips and information about today's program, visit us online at www.cuisineculture.tv.